this video, I wanted to show you a system that I came up with to detect early breakouts. And this is done with the superior Bollinger indicator. I've actually got two different indicators painting the candlesticks. I've got the solar wind printing these darker trend colors. And then the superior Bollinger is painting the brighter candles when we're getting the breakouts. You could also just use the built-in Bollinger Bands to detect these breakouts. However, I really enjoy the visual aspect of being able to paint the bar colors when we have a breakout above or below the Bollinger Bands. And I also like not having to actually have the Bollinger Bands on my chart so I can just see the candles, I can see the bodies and the wicks better without the Bollinger Bands floating around here. This is a one minute NQ chart from this morning. This is the first candle of the New York Open. And how I'm trading this is when I see one of these breakout candles with the brighter color, I'm just looking for some extra confirmation. I wanna see price break above the trigger candle by a few ticks. And then my stop, if I'm taking a long, would go at the low of the trigger candle. And if I took a short, my stop would go the top of the trigger candle. When the color fades, that means we are crossing back into the middle of the Bollinger Bands. And then when the candles turn bright again, we're breaking out. So here we get a breakout candle. This candle does not push higher, so no trade yet. But this candle breaks above this previous high right here. We get a nice little push up. So let me show you the settings that I'm using. For the solar wind, I've got my micro trend settings of 0.5 for the multiplier trend and a number one for the multiplier stop. Everything else is factory settings on the solar wind. And then for the bar color, I've got dark green and dark red for the uptrend and the downtrend. For the superior Bollinger, I've disabled the region. I've changed the plot rise and fall to transparent. I've changed all the bands to transparent. I've turned off the markers. The only thing I have activated is the bar. Bar is enabled. And for the breakup, I've got lime green. Breakdown, I've got red. For the parameters on the Superior Bollinger, I've got a 10 SMA with a standard deviation of one. And here's where you can fine tune it. If you wanna have confirmation of stronger moves, you can change it to a 1.5. You're getting a lot less bright green candles. Just a couple there, a couple there. One bright red, one bright red. And if you wanted to catch moves quicker, you could put a 0.5. Now we've got a ton of green candlesticks. And we caught this down move quicker, getting into this uptrend right away. There's definitely not as many darker candles. You also have a choice of a bunch of different moving averages. You could use an EMA, that changed things up a little bit. Now we don't get any breakout signals to the downside right there. Basically, I'm trying to keep myself out of chop like this with the darker colors. And then when there is going to be a breakout, I get the brighter colors, and I want to be in the direction of this trend breakout, green or red. Something else I like to do is change the input series. Instead of using the price of the chart, you could attach this superior Bollinger Band to an oscillator. You could attach it to an RSI or a stochastics. So this is the Bollinger Breakout with the Bollinger Band attached to the stochastics. And to me, this is great. I don't have to have the stochastics oscillator up. I don't have to be looking to see if the stochastics oscillator is breaking above or below the Bollinger Bands that it's attached to. I've just got these candle colors printed. It makes it very easy, very simple, very visual. You can see with the Bollinger Band attached to the stochastics, we're getting idea of potential reversals a little bit sooner. So just some more creative ideas. I've been sticking with using it on price one of my favorite combinations so far is the 10 SMA and either a standard deviation of 0.5 or a solid one. I've been using these candles in my day-to-day -day trading for the past month or so. I'm really enjoying it. And of course, you can use this on other time frames. Here's the five minute chart from today. We had a bunch of red breakout candles pre-market. Then we turn to this darker color when we're getting into the chop. And then when we get the breakout, Candles turn bright. We're breaking above all these previous highs here. Uh, this was the first candle of the New York Open. We stayed green the whole entire time until 11. 
At 11.05, we finally came back inside the Bollinger Bands and look at this giant wick on this candle right here. So if price broke lower below this, that would be very bearish. In the next candle, we get back to the bright red. And here, price is breaking below this candle. It's also breaking below this previous low here. And we come back down to VWAP. Have a nice bounce off of VWAP there. Here's a 2000 tick chart from this morning. Some nice red, green waves. Here's the 15 minute chart from today. Just another creative way you can use some of these indicators. I hadn't seen anyone use the Bollinger Bands like that before and I thought I'd share this technique for anyone out there that enjoys breakout trades. There's links in the description to all these indicators. And if you use code MONKEYMAN, you get the best price always. Even if they're having some crazy 55% off sale, if you use code MONKEYMAN, you get an even deeper discount. And Apex Trader Funding has extended their 80% off sale with one day to pass until the end of May. Using code MONKEYMAN at Apex will also get you the best price. And not only that, but using any of my affiliate coupon codes also helps support the work that I do on this channel, and I greatly appreciate it. I hope you got some good ideas for your own trading. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying this content, please consider a like and a subscribe. Have a great day.